military weapons. Hello and welcome back and thank you for joining us once again where today we'll be talking about the BMPT Terminator. The BMPT Terminator is a post-Cold War Russian armored fighting vehicle. This vehicle was designed for supporting tanks and other AFVs in urban areas and is unofficially named the Terminator by its manufacturers. It is heavily armed and armored to survive in urban combat and the AFV is armed with four 9M120 Ataka missile launchers, two 30mm 2A42 autocannons, two AG-17D grenade launchers, and one coaxial 7.62mm PKTM machine gun. The BMPT is built on the chassis of the T-72 main battle tank, which is used in large numbers by the Russian army and has been manufactured under license by many other countries. The BMPT was designed based on combat experience gained during the Soviet war in Afghanistan and the First Chechnyan War. Multiple prototypes of a tank support combat vehicle were created prior to the design of the current BMPT. The Object 199 Ramka was the prototype later to be known as the modern day version of the BMPT. A small number were delivered to the Russian ground forces for evaluation beginning in 2005 and, as of late 2013, the only operator of the BMPT was Kazakhstan. Russian Defense Ministries finally ordered the BMPT in August of 2007. When used in urban terrain, each main battle tank is deployed with two BMPTs. Outside of urban warfare, that ratio gets reversed, with one BMPT protecting two main battle tanks. This results from the complexity of fighting in urban terrain and the need for a versatile anti-personnel platform that can engage multiple targets at once and on different height levels. The introduction of such a vehicle makes urban fighting less stressful on MBTs and can relieve them of some of the workload so that they can concentrate on their main objective of engaging other MBT and hardened targets. The BMPT's armor protection is equal to that of an MBT, and its powerful armaments allow it to engage virtually every enemy formation while operating in a common battle formation itself. Due to the multiple weapon systems found on the BMPT, this vehicle is able to fire at multiple targets simultaneously. These features significantly help to increase the combat effectiveness of tank units and decrease their losses from enemy close combat assets. In September of 2013, the manufacturer would unveil the latest armored fighting vehicle at the Russian Arms Expo exhibition in Russia. The vehicle was identified as the BMPT-72 Terminator 2 and was built as a successor to the BMPT. The Terminator 2 vehicle is substantially similar when compared to its predecessor, and like its predecessor, it's built on the base of the T-72 hull, which includes a drivetrain, running gear, and so on, and has been designed to operate alongside MBTs or independently on its own. The Terminator 2 can be effectively used to destroy enemy tanks, armored personnel carriers, and other armored assets, and to suppress enemy firing emplacements and infantry that use grenade launchers and anti-tank weapon systems. Unlike the Terminator 1, however, the Terminator 2 is a retrofit-only package, with only old T-72s and similar being upgraded to BMPT-72 standards with no new build of vehicles. The Terminator 2 is aimed at the export market, in particular as part of offset deals. A spokesperson for the manufacturer would tell a select audience at the exhibition that the key advantage of the vehicle gives to all the countries that operate T-72 tanks that they can promptly and at minimal cost upgrade their armies to an ultra-modern level and enhance capacity, mobility, protection, and armament without purchasing new high-cost machines. In addition, the conversion process of the obsolete vehicles can be undertaken at the customer facilities. The overseer of the Russian defense and space industries said future versions of the BMPT will likely be based on the Armada Universal Combat Platform. Of its armament and FCS, the two automatic grenade launchers are removed, along with its operators, which reduces the crew to just three. 
the number of munitions for the Ataka missiles, 2A42 autocannons, and the PKTM machine gun remains unchanged. A new and improved FCS is installed in the BMPT-72. During daytime, the maximum distance for identifying a tank-sized target is 5,000 meters with the sighting channel and 3,500 meters with the thermal channel. The ballistic computer is electronic and fully digital with a set of weather and topographical sending units. Of its protection, although the weight of the new vehicle is reduced by 4 metric tons, it still boasts a high level of protection just like its predecessor. The Terminator 2 is shorter and more thin than the original Terminator. The BMPT-72 has a height of 3.33 meters and a width of 3.6 meters, while the Object 199 Ramka had a height of 344 meters and a width of 3.8 meters. The upper part of the suspension is protected by armor plates toward the front and slat armor toward the rear. Additional slat armor is fitted on the rear and the sides of the chassis in order to increase protection against rocket-propelled grenades. Missile launchers for the Ataka missiles are fitted with extra armor in order to provide protection against splinters and small arms fire. CBRN protection is provided for the crew members and is collective. In addition to the combined armor modules, the BMPT-72 is equipped with a screening system designed to counter laser target designators and laser range finders. A Type R-168 25UE-2 radio is installed on board the Terminator 2 as well. Of its mobility, the mobility of the BMPT-72 does not differ significantly from its original. It can be fitted with two different engines, the original 840 horsepower V84 MS or the new 1000 horsepower V92 S2. Both of these engines are 12-cylinder V-type multi-fuel liquid-cooled diesel engines. The V92 S2 is a turbocharged engine offering higher power and efficiency, and the engine is coupled to a hydraulically assisted transmission with seven forward gears and one reverse gear. Of its specifications, it features a total weight battle-ready of 44 tons, a crew of three which features a driver, a gunner, and a commander. Its suspension has torsion bars with a speed on the road of 60 km an hour and a range of 500 km. Of its armament, it features two 2A42 30mm autocannons with 850 rounds, four 130mm Ataka T launchers, and coaxial 7.62mm PKTM machine gun with 2100 rounds. While the Terminator 2 is not in service as far as anyone knows, Azerbaijan held an arms expo named ADEX, which is the Azerbaijan Defense Exhibition, in 2014, allowing for arms dealers to show off their weaponry to the armed forces of Azerbaijan. Since then, the country has had issues with Armenia, and the small nation is looking for potent weaponry in case things get heated again between the two countries. During the expo, Azerbaijan stated that they were interested in the KA-52 Attack Scout Helicopter and the BMPT-72 Terminator II along with numerous other weaponry. In 2013, various unspecified Persian Gulf nations also showed interest in the Terminator 2 during the Russian Arms Expo. The Russian Federation has, however, refused the second iteration of the Terminator 2 as well. The reasoning is that since the T-15 Armada exists, there is no reason to adopt the Terminator 2 with possibly less armor and no infantry carrying capacity. Lastly, during India's DEF Expo in 2014, Oral Wagen Zavad proposed two upgrades to India's obsolete T-72s. They proposed that the BMP T-72 package be put on India's T-72s, which would extend their service life, and also proposed that an Arena E APS upgrade be put on the T-72's active protection systems that fire a small projectile at accumulative and explosive missiles from portable, non-portable anti-tank weaponry like RPGs, Cornet, Conkers, tow, and more, detonating them before impact. To find out more, check out the specifications in the description. Thanks for watching. Be sure that you subscribe, click on like, and turn on notifications for more in the future.